Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to make mushrooms of a couple different varieties, some with the kind of classic Mario style uh, toadstools, um, other more natural looking mushrooms, and also some mushroom men as well. Really basic uh, small mushroom men. This is all made out of oven baked clay. Um, so the actual craft is not going to be uh, terribly interesting to watch simply because it's really hard to watch. Um, at least I found hard to film uh, the process of sculpting the oven baked clay. But I, I'm going to try to show you how I just do some basic sculpting. These are not complicated sculpts by any means. Um, they're simply kind of tubular shapes with some caps on top. Uh, but it gets the job done and makes it look like a mushroom environment. I made a whole bunch so that I could have a whole cave full of these mushroom and mushroom men um, to make it a, a little bit more of an interesting encounter. So let's go to the table and see how this is done. Okay, to start this craft, we're gonna be using this oven baked clay. This is a brand called Sculpey. And I'm simply putting together some rough shape of a large humanoid mushroom man um, created the legs and then some body and arms kind of form those together and uh, just kind of joining everything so that it holds together and will bake solid I added a large cap to the head as well just to make sure that he would be able to stand with a large cap and uh, detailing out some of the head and um, fringes around the bottom of the cap, as well as on his head. Then I set about to create some smaller mushroom men. I wanted these to be kind of the normal folk of the mushroom men. The large one would end up being more of a, a magical construct for the mushroom men. They could kind of turn some of their larger caps into these large monsters temporarily to help defend their village. After the mushroom men, I just uh, started working on some smaller mushrooms as well. I made some that look like morels, some that look like um, other kinds of mushrooms, puffballs and things like that. That would be just something interesting and create some different dynamics to the environment. I'm using some chipboard and cutting out some bases for all of the different pieces after baking them um, I wanted to make sure that they would stand easily so I'm gluing the bases of the, the larger mushrooms to that chipboard even the mushroom men all get their own small bases as well I'm hot gluing the tops of the caps onto the mushrooms um, I did those separate just because I didn't know how well they would bake together once they all have the bases I'm going in with some white glue on that chipboard and pouring in some sand just to give it a little texture. Then I spray painted them entirely white and started giving uh, the base coat of some of these with a dark brown. For the morel caps, I wanted that dark brown to be kind of that undercoat. Um, as well as some of these puff balls, I wanted the bases to have this dark brown look. Then I switched to the red and painted all of the caps of the toadstools with this cheap red craft paint. Even the larger ones, I made sure to hit the, the undersides just a little bit to overlap where the, the fins would be on the bottom side. Then I used a kind of a golden uh, tan color and painted the puff balls and dry brushed onto the, the morel caps so that it would have um, a little bit of a that golden hue as the the outer color but I still wanted that dark brown to show through especially on the morels. On the morels and some of the mushroom men I did this tan color 
um, instead of leaving it just a plain white. Then the red caps didn't seem like it covered well enough, so I went through and covered them a second time, just giving them a second coat of the red. Then on all of the bases, I'm coming along with some black paint and giving that as the initial coat to help hold down the sand and have a nice dark cavey um, undercoat. Then I'm using some dark brown to dry brush. And then some of that golden tan as well, just to highlight some of the, the rocks and give it a little bit more of a patchy sandy look. And then lastly, I'm coming in with some gray and picking out some individual rocks and again, giving a little bit more patchy look. For the caps, I'm coming in with white paint and just adding some white circles to all of them. This gives it that classic Mario Toadstool look, um, unmistakably mushroom and probably kind mushroom, uh, not malevolent in this setting. The undersides of the cap, I'm coming along with some dark brown um, ink and that will fill in the caps and give it a nice uh, kind of natural mushroom look. I'm using that brown ink and hitting the mushroom balls as well. That'll bring out the little texture that I have on them. I have a little bit more water down so that it doesn't just coat it in a dark brown and it falls into the recesses. Well, that's the last step. Here is the finished product. I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.